Imagine playing one of the most famous par threes in the world, but imagine struggling to hit the green. Today we're going to show you just how your wrist angles can help you maintain this club face and help you hit the most famous, I think this is going to be the most famous par three in the world eventually. Guys, we're at Loferton Links today and we're discussing how to help you hit more greens. So you can see we've got a couple of balls here. We'll play some shots into this gorgeous, this is like unbelievable, isn't it? It is unbelievable. Guys, if you do want to get good at golf, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below and throw a like on this video. We've got the hack motion on today and I want to show you how to just kind of control that ball flight by thinking about your takeaway. There's numerous drills on the hack motion app that comes with this device. And this is of course the upgraded version as well. So the last thing I want to see is someone stand up to this par three, look really solid, look as though they're gonna hit a really, really good drive or a good iron shot, should I say, and then roll the wrists over here. You'll see if I were to do that, my wrist angles immediately open that club face. I struggle to get anywhere I want to get to at the top of the backswing and I would then lunge the club at the ball. I would either pull the ball to the left or slice it to the right, depending on the loft and the club face. So how do I want to attack this ball? How do I want to move my club on the way back? Generally, what I want to do is make sure I keep those wrist angles nice and neutral. So I try and keep it very similar on the way back to what it is at address. So if I go to a position here where I've got my left arm tight to my chest, I've got the club parallel to the ground and I've got that club face parallel to my spine angle. From here, I can then load up to the top of the backswing and the club again remains nice and square. If that club face starts to open at the top here, you'll see that's not gonna be ideal. But also if I start to extend that wrist too much here, then that club face is also not going to work as I want it to. So let's get lined up and let's start to think about what we can do with this club face on the way back by thinking about that club face even as a little bit of a pre-shot waggle. A little bit like that one. Bang on line, tiny bit short, but I would take that all day as I'm thinking about setting that ball off on line. So if I'm thinking there, right, what have I done wrong? I haven't hit the ball hard enough. So I've tried to take a bit off it into the wind, but if I know that my ball's gonna come out pretty straight, and I know I'm controlling that club face, I can afford to give it a bit more. And this time, you can see we go a little bit further up to the left-hand side. Guys, if you think that's gonna help you, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Taking the club away on a nice, consistent basis is huge to help you get good at golf. If you wanna do that, Hit that subscribe button. This is a very daunting tee shot, by the way. So if you do get a chance to get come here, make sure you tag us and show us how you get on.